Virtual DJ 6.0.1 and now what we're going to do is we're going to look for those karaoke files. Okay, so you're going to, the browser's down here and you're going to go over here to your files. It's going to be on the very bottom left of the computer and you're going to go to My Computer. Okay, and you're going to hit the plus button to open that up. It's going to drop down everything that's on My Computer. You're going to look for, in this case, it's my book K, that's where I have the karaoke. I'm going to hit the plus button on that and I'm going to look for the karaoke transfers file. Hit the plus button on that. And then I'm going to look for karaoke rips. And there it is. Okay, so there it is. Everything you just did is right here. And this is great because initially when you put in uh, a new disk or, or new uh, files and you initialize them in Virtual DJ, it looks for the covers automatically. And how it does that is there's a program built in to search for them and you have to have your settings correct for that. If you notice already, our new uh, files already have album covers. You really can't see too much here, but that's Madonna's Like a Virgin. And then the one behind it is uh, I Want to Know What Love Is by Foreigner. And then here's Hall and Oates. This one didn't have a cover, and I'm going to show you how to find it. Now, I know you really can't see it there, but um, what you do is you go up here to Config, and then you have this window that pops up. Okay, so what you do now is you go to Browser, and then you have some choices on Infos Gathering. You've got Read ID3 Tags, Enable It. ID3 Artist and Title, Enable. ID3 Comments is Enabled. You know, that's optional. You don't have to have that. Cover. And on, in the covers, these are album covers, you have a few choices. You have Don't Search. Local search only. In other words, it, search your, it searches your computer to see if you have the covers already. Now, most of you don't, so uh, I, I prefer to look on the Internet for them. So there's a download exact match, and that's kind of limiting, so I don't use that one. Download no matter what. That's the one I choose for cover. And then search database. You can add automatically, add manually, and we want to choose add automatically so it you know cuts your job in half pretty much okay and then the other thing that I do when I add new files is I click fix the database file has been optimized and fixed anytime I add new files I do that because you know that way if you ever have an issue and you can't find the files you just did you know click that you can also check your drive and you can clean the drive so I click OK and there you go. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to, uh, we, we already saw that the computer found some on the Internet, some of the covers, but we're going to do this one manually. So we have no choice. So what we're going to do is right-click on the Hall & Oates or whatever, uh, you know, empty cover that you have on there. Click File Infos, and another window pops up. And over here you'll see the, your artist, Hall & Oates, and then the title, Rich Girl. And then if you did your albums and track numbers, that would show up here under album. And that's important for some people, you know, if you want to know what's on your, you know, what album this is on, uh, DK in this case, you know, or if you did Sound Choice or if you have Chart Buster or Sunfly or whatever you use. In, in my case, I use all of them. <laughs> I have so many different ones. Okay, so now what you do is you go over here and you click on Cover. And there is... Attached files choice, there's ID3 tags, local Windows Media Player database, local iTunes database. In other words, it searches all of these to see if you already have them. And then down below, it uses the Internet to find them. Amazon, Rhapsody, and Google. And Amazon already found it. And there it is, Hall & Oates. And there's the two guys, Hall & Oates. And then down at the bottom, it says Rich Girl, but you can't see it. So I think that's going to probably be the best choice. So I'm going to click on it. Okay, it shows up here now in cover, and you click OK, and there it is. And then you do it with your next one. You just go on and on until you get them all. And th that's another optional thing. You don't have to do that. 
you know, if you don't want the covers, it's no big deal, but, you know, I think it looks really nice and makes it easier to find. So, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're gonna play one of these and show you exactly uh, what we did and, and the benefit of all of it. Since I don't have a controller here, I, can, I don't have a push button to start it up, so I'll have to double-click on one, and we'll go ahead and pick uh, Rich Girl, the one we just found the cover for. Double-click on it, and the little karaoke window pops up. Now... You know, on my system, uh, this is just my desktop, so I don't have an external monitor attached. Normally, this window will come up on my uh, external LCD, and it'll be fully maximized automatically. It'll be, you know, really big, and uh, it'll be ready to go. And that's where your customers see. You're going to look at the virtual DJ screen, and they're going to see only this. Okay, so this is what you're going to see right here. And then the window, the karaoke window, is what they're going to see. And this is it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll hit play. And you do that with your controller system if you have one attached. And here we go. And that's it. And your customer will be singing away. Okay. So that's all you have to do. I mean, it's good to go. You won't ever have to find uh, or mess around with using a big old CD player and, and, and hundreds of CDs. You have it all right here on your computer, on your external hard drive, and you use Virtual DJ to play it. So the most you'll have to do is, is carry your, you know, the, your normal system and your computer and not have to worry about lugging around a bunch of CDs. So that's it. And I hope you've learned something here. And if you have any other questions, you can always hit me up. Uh, just leave me a message, PM me, email me, however you want to do it. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to initialize your, uh, your desktop so that you have an extended desktop and you can uh, have your external LCD. That will be my next video. This is DJ Rude, and uh, thanks for tuning in. And I hope that this has helped some of you guys on figuring out how to do this. Uh, it's not a complicated process. It's really easy. And uh, what's really easy about it and wonderful is the ability to be able to just have everything on your computer. And when you need a song, you don't have to sit there and go, okay, uh, which one's it in? You know, with all your CDs, you don't have to worry about that. You just come over here and you just type it into the, uh, the search bar on Virtual DJ. You know, you're a rich girl or Hall & Oates you know, the song or title you're looking for, and it'll pop up, and you're ready to go. So you can just have a smooth and uh, real fun karaoke show. Okay, so anyway, this is DJ Rude, and I appreciate you tuning in. I know I already said that, but uh, stay tuned for the, uh, the next part to this uh, on how to configure your external monitor. This is DJ Rude. Peace. Keep spinning.